Hi everyone, welcome back to Dentist and today we are here with a new video where we are going to discuss the classification of the vesicular villus lesions of the oral cavity which can be your important exam question. So before we begin, I want you to quickly subscribe to Dentist and also hit on the bell icon so that you will be notified about new new videos. Let's first understand what are vesicular villus lesions which are in our skin and skin. We call them vesicular villus lesions. Based on their size, they can be vesicle or they can be bullet. If the size of this elevated blister, which is our chala, which is our clear fluid, its size is under 1 cm, then we call it vesicle. And if the size is over 1 cm in diameter, then we call them bullet. According to Regizzi, it can be little different. If it is 0.5 cm in diameter, then we can call them vesicle. And if it is greater than 0.5 cm, then we can call them bullet. So basically, we have two of them fluid. But vesicle is our small size, and bullet is our big size. There are many diseases in which we can learn. So there are various classifications in this video we are going to discuss three main classification of vesiculobulous lesions or vesiculobulous diseases so let's see them one by one now first classification of the vesiculobulous diseases of the oral mucosa is based on the location ki ye jo hamara chala bana hai ye kahan bana hai oral mucosa ke andar epithelium hai to epithelium ke andar agar bante hai chale then we call them intra epithelial intra means inside matlab hamara fluid yahan pe ikattha hua hai chala hamara epithelium ke andar bana hai and if these lesions form below the epithelium, then we call them sub-epithelial. Sub means below. So, our lesion is here, in the vesicle, or below, below the epithelium. This is our epithelium, and the epithelium is below the epithelium. So, that is the first classification. Very, very easy to remember. Based on the location, they can be intra-epithelial, or they can be sub-epithelial. Now, let's see the examples. So, in intra-epithelial, sometimes these diseases can cause the destruction of the epithelium. If the epithelial cells की destruction होती है, then we call them acantholytic diseases. Lytic means destruction. Acanthe refers to the stratum spinosum layer. जो हमारी stratum spinosum है, अगर उसके cells टूट जाते हैं, then we call them acantholytic lesions. And अगर cells नहीं टूटते, then we call them non-acantholytic lesions. So let's see कौन कौन से diseases में acantholytic lesions बनते हैं और कौन सी में non-acantholytic. So in acantholytic examples are pemphigus, pemphigus vulgaris, pemphigus foliaceus, pemphigus vegetans. And we can have familial bin and chronic pemphigus, hilly hilly disease. We can also have Darius disease. So, in ke andar, humare acantholytic lesions bante hai, cells ke destruction hoti hai. Non-acantholytic like infections, viral infections, jahan pe cells ke destruction nahi hoti, like viral infections, herpes simplex viral infection, herpes zoster and coxsackie viral infection. So, these are the two categories in the intrapithelial. Acantholytic and non-acantholytic, jahan pe chale humare epithelium ke andar ban rahe hai, aur cells ke destruction ho sakti hai, aur नहीं हो सकती। Now let's see the second category, sub epithelial. इसके examples कौन सी हैं? यानी कि जो हमारा lesion बना है, हमारा epithelium के नीचे बना है, below the epithelium. So the examples of these diseases are erythema multiforme, pemphigoid. इंट्रा एपिथेलियल में पेम्फिगस था सब एपिथेलियल में पेम्फिगोइड है यहाँ पे हमारा एपिथेलियम के नीचे बनता है पेम्फिगोइड दो तरह के हो सकते हैं बुलस पेम्फिगोइड बिलाइन म्यूकस मेम्ब्रेन और सिक्योट्रिशियल पेम्फिगोइड देन वी कैन हैव डॉमेटाइडस अब एटीफॉर्मिस लीनियर आईजीए डिजीज एपिडर्मोलाइसिस � they can be intraepithelial or they can be subepithelial. Intraepithelial can be acantholytic or they can be non-acantholytic. Now let's see the second classification based on the cause. हम already देख चुके हैं causes क्या क्या हो सकते हैं. They can be viral, they can be immunological or they can be hereditary. ये जो छाले बन रहे हैं इन reasons की वजह से बन सकते हैं. Let's see the examples of these three one by one. So under viral infections we have already seen various viral infections like herpes simplex, varicella zoster. Hand, foot, mouth disease, herpangina, measles. Then under immunological diseases where some antigens are involved like pemphigus vulgaris, mucous membrane pemphigoid, bullous pemphigoid, dermatitis apetiformis, linear IgA disease. And under hereditary we have epidermolysis bullosa. So that is the second classification based on the cause. They can be viral diseases, they can be immunological diseases and they can be hereditary diseases which can be made in our Now let's see the third classification. Now these lesions, 
ब्लिस्टर्स जो चाले बने हैं दे कैन बी सीन इन यंग एडल्ट चिल्ड्रेन एंड यंग एडल्ट और दे कैन बी सीन इन एडल्ट एंड एल्डरली सो देर आर सर्टन डिजीजेज इन विच दे आर सीन इन चिल्ड्रेन एंड देर आर सर्टन ब्लिस्टरिंग कंडीशन विच आर सीन इन एडल्ट एंड एल्डरली लेट सी द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दीज टू कैटेगरीज वन बाई वन सो इन द फोर्स्ट कैटेगरी वी हैव प्राइमरी हर्पिटिक जिंजीवोस्टोमेटाइटिस रेगरेंट हर्बी सिम्प्लेक्स वायरल इन्फेक्शन चिकन पॉक्स हैंड फुट माउथ डिजीज हर्पिन जॉइना एंड यूकोसिन सो दे कैन अफेक्ट द चिल्ड्रेन और यंग एडल्ट देन वी हैव द सेकेंड कैटेगरी वेयर द ब्लिस्टर्स आर सीन इन एडल्ट्स एंड एल्डरली दीज डिजीज आर शिंगल्स एरेदिमा मल्टीफॉर्मे पेम्फिंगॉइड पेम्फिंगर्स लीनियर आइजियर डिजीज डर्मेटाइटिस हर्पिटीफॉर्म्स इन जाइना मुलूसा हेमेरोजिका so that is all for this video if you really like the video you understood the classification tap on the like button also follow dentozen and hit on the bell icon so that you remain notified about new new videos see you in the next video till then take care bye bye